Welcome to the station crew. Enjoy your stay. My name is Walks the Plains. I am a scientist employed upon Bagel Station. This isn't your usual space station story. There's no grand epic story. There's no awesome gimmick that gets pulled off. What this is, this might be more a more... Re if anything, this is a story that many of you have probably experienced, but don't often get to see. The shift starts off as, well, pretty much any science shift starts off. You gauge how many scientists there are, and then you decide what you want to do. Well, I like doing artifacts. The research director kind of just helped me out doing it. I mean, it's, there's not really much to do for uh, artifacts. Like, one person can very easily run the whole thing, and that is pretty much the beginning of the shift. Then the voice is called Warner Whiskey. Echo, Whiskey, the call of the Syndicate, and my objectives are pretty much just assist one singular person. Well, there's really no grand story that happens here. Uh, the person pretty much instantly gets themselves permud and then they kill themselves. I was never able to really assist them, there was maybe a one minute window where I could have broken the perma before they killed themselves, but I, there's... They basically didn't make it possible for me to actually assist them. Now that my syndicate objective is completely uh, impossible other than survive, which I don't really care about, I try to stay under everyone's radars slightly by just going around, you know, asking for basic resources for science and just overall running around looking for the anomaly. Things like that. No one really questions the scientist is kind of roaming the halls. And then I go back to science after just doing some wandering and a gray tider breaks into science and oddly this doesn't really go anywhere. They just sort of become my research assistant for quite some time, and then... We get an annoying artifact that just runs into space, and at this point, this is pretty much where I gave up on artifacts. During this, the hop sends a very, very intricate job request form. And, I've, and then I realized to myself, okay, this is maybe one place I can cause a little bit of chaos. <coughs> I simply just take the forum and write, I'm going to mail a pipe bomb to your office and send it. And the response to that was, the station went the blue alert and they said that, please don't uh, do that pretty much. And I thought it was really funny. Some more time passes and I get the idea that It'd be pretty funny to try to frame somebody, like, I basically just open up the crew manifest at complete random, and I figured, who would most likely do a bomb? Oh yeah, chemist, of course. So I picked the random chemist name, and I signed the paper and sent another letter saying I was going to pipe bomb the hops office while well, they were going to do it. And this is where the first huge roadblock comes in. While doing artifacts, I got extraordinarily irradiated. And I barely noticed it in time to limp out of science. I go to medical. And they treat me for major radiation sickness. At the end, one of the doctors says, wear your damn rad suit. And I said, I don't want to wear it. <laughs> I go straight back to science. And apparently the scientist, when I wasn't there, progressed the artifacts further and got even more radiation. But none of them warned me about, the, about it on the radio. And within about 10 seconds of me walking in the room, I realized I was at critical condition. I fall into a critical state. And no one rescues me in time before I quite literally perma die to radiation. I got completely cooked alive and that was it. That was the entire story of Walks to Planes.
They were put in a morgue and never recovered. They body wasn't brought to CENTCOM. I wasn't turned into a Borg. My story of an almost two hour shift was over in about 35 minutes. I got called in as a syndicate monkey reinforcement. The only thing I was told was to kill some random technical assistant. I roam the halls for until the literal end of the shift. I get on the evac shuttle, and then the guy who asked me for help just kills me. And th that was it. I managed to suffer two major losses in one shift, and I don't know if I'll ever be able to play the game again. Thank you for watching.